To perform a simple continuous running or baseball stitch, start at the apex of the incision. Anchor your suture by taking the first bite across the wound edges as you would a single interrupted stitch. Bring the edges together by tying the suture using a hand or instrument tie. Cut the free end of the suture short. Load your needle and drive the needle horizontally across the wound, taking care to maintain the same distance from the wound edge on each side and also the same depth on each side. Taking bites at different depths will cause the closure to be uneven with one side of the wound higher than the other. You should be able to drive the needle across in one bite. First, Cock your wrist back so that the needle is perpendicular to the surface of the skin. As the needle penetrates the skin, turn your wrist and let the curve of the needle do the work. Direct the tip of the needle to where you would like it to exit on the opposite side. Grasp the needle with the forcep and reload the needle on your needle driver so it is ready for the next bite. You may use a forcep in your non-dominant hand to help direct the course of the needle by grabbing and stabilizing the skin edge or by placing counter pressure on the skin. Some attendings may discourage you from grabbing the needle with your forcep. If this is the case, use your forcep to grab the skin edge near where the needle is exiting. This will stabilize the needle. Advance the needle through until two-thirds of it is through the skin. Then, with your needle driver in the pronated position, grab the needle directly at the skin level, ideally at an angle so as to optimally load it for the next bite. Rotate the needle driver in your hand and take the next bite. Continue to close the wound in this fashion. When you arrive at the opposite end of the wound, tie the suture strands together using either a hand or instrument tie. Then, cut your suture.